guys it's dinner time i'm prepping for dinner and i will be making jerk chicken rice and peas as we say back home in jamaica it's really rice and beans but it's our rice and peas that's made with beans and i like mixing my beans so in this slow cooker i have some kidney beans and some black eyed beans and i started my beans with cold water i added a little salt to the water a little black pepper and i'm gonna add just a little of my shredded garlic and a little of the shredded onion because the rest i will use for my jerk sauce now i'll just let the beans go ahead and cook in the slow cooker so guys my beans are finished in the slow cooker and i have transferred them over to my pot here on the stove top and i have already washed my rice i am using brown rice so now i am going to put my rice into the pot with the beans and the liquid that the beans were cooked in the beans were cooked too hmm, can use the term al dente not too soft not too hard just enough hardness for them not to get mushy when they go into the rice when while the rice is being cooked and i will just stir huh true jamaican rice and peas usually have coconut milk and uh, so i'm not gonna because of circumstances beyond my control I can't add coconut milk in this rice and peas so I will be adding some coconut oil to give a similar effect so I'll just get myself a spoon over here And we have a thing back home in Jamaica where we say that you should never put spoon in the rice before it's cooked. So I'm not going to put my spoon in the rice. Apparently we'll let it get mushy. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> okay, so that's it. My coconut oil is in and it's going to melt in. Also, two more things that we would not cook without are scallion and thyme so i don't have scallion i have thyme i just got thyme from my garden so basically i'll just put my thyme in and what i do have are lots of chives so i'm gonna use some chives Usually we take a knife or something and kind of just beat the beat, beat the scallion. But I'm just going to use my hands to do something more like this, right? To start releasing the juices. And I'm going to put it in. And that won't be enough water. But we put water, we add water as we go until the rice is fully cooked through i have boiled water on hand so i won't be adding cold water i will be adding hot water so i'm gonna go ahead now and i'm gonna cover my pot and then i'll check back maybe in about 10 minutes or so to see where it's at give it a little stir with my fork and then i'll add a little more water Keep adding until it's cooked check this out guys looks good eh and it 
will taste good too. Okay, so at this point you can see that my beans are still whole. They are not mushy. That is what you want. You don't want mushy beans because mushy beans will let your rice be mushy. And I am going to, or I am adding a cup more water. Yeah, that's enough for now. So I'll go ahead and put the lid back on and let the rice cook and absorb that liquid. And then I'll check back again in another five to 10 minutes. You wanna keep checking to make sure your rice doesn't burn. So I am checking my rice again for doneness. And it's at this point that you can just pick up a grain or two and press between your fingers to see how it feels to know if it's almost cooked and then get your spoon and go to the bottom of the pot to feel if it is sticking and it's almost cooked but not fully cooked then you may need more water and that's exactly what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna add just a half a cup of water and I have reduced the heat However, this is the biggest burner on the stove and it packs a punch. So I'm going to transfer the pot over to a burner that's not, that doesn't pack such a heat punch. <laughs> okay, so I'll transfer it over so it can finish up. At this point, you have to check your rice regularly. So I am checking my rice again for doneness. And I am removing what's left of the chives and the thyme. Now it's on a lower flame. And uh, let's get this other piece of thyme. And another piece of chives. Okay, so it's not sticking at the bottom. That's why it's best to cook this type of rice in a pot that's pretty thick. A thinner pot will definitely burn easily. So it's not sticking. It's on a lower flame. And so I'll just cover it back so it can finish up i'll just show you the doneness when you squish it between your fingers it should just be squished right out and you shouldn't get any hardness like on the inside of the grain so it just needs a few more minutes so the meal is ready and check out my rice you can see the grains, it's not all clumping together. And guess what? It's brown rice. And believe you me, try cooking rice and peas with brown rice. It's not the easiest thing to do. So I'm pretty happy with it. And I'm pretty happy with my jerk chicken with the sauce that I made in house. So, and we have some coleslaw over here. And coleslaw is one of Jamaica's most common veggies or should I say veggie dish that is served in especially the little uh, mom and pop restaurants and beet juice. So it's a whole Jamaican thing well, going here. Yeah. Beet juice, coleslaw, rice and peas and your chicken. So let's dig in guys let's dig in yeah i made my gravy over here too and the gravy has some of the jerk sauce so everything complements each other and we have some herb tea not the herb you might be thinking it's from fever it fever grass as we call it back home in jamaica or um lemon grass i think it's called hair i think 
and with a little lavender and a little oregano and a little stevia. I have the stevia plant actually that I use in my teas because it adds that sweetness without it being too sweet. Anyways, it's time to dig in and have some food. Thanks so much for watching, for subscribing, and for sharing. Please tell somebody about my channel and my videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, that's it. That's a wrap.